Piloting a commercial aircraft is much more than getting passengers from departure to arrival. It takes brains, focus, leadership, and a genuine love for taking care of people. Fortunately, this skill set lines up perfectly with two amazing ladies who have always had their heads in the clouds. You know, for me, being from Guam, obviously I love me a good sunny day. And if it's raining on the ground, once I'm above, it's always a sunny day in a jet. And it brings me joy. And it's just the ability to give back, the ability to be surrounded by people and kind of welcome them onto, on board. Um, most especially because when I was younger, pilots would bring me into the cockpit before the flight and show me all the controls and whatnot. So I would like to be able to give back and do that for people to help inspire people like what they did for me. First Officer Coco Costelny grew up in the industry and the Santa Rita native always knew it was her destiny and that she touched down back on her native soil. I'm Chamorro, so growing up on Guam, I flew Continental back in the day. Also, uh, my father was involved with aviation in the Marine Corps, so from, a little, from, when, from when I was little, I've always been inspired to the sky, and I've always wanted to fly. And I always had a goal of coming back to Guam, flying the airplanes, the 737 that you see right behind me. It was always my goal to come fly that in Guam as a Guam-based pilot. 20-year-old Kiana Clark has a year left toward completing flight school and is an original member of the local Women in Aviation chapter. She came home to speak to middle and high school females as part of United's Girls in Aviation Day. You definitely have to be determined and disciplined. That's the two main things that I would stress most importantly. Um, but also, just love what you do. Even though times may be hard during evaluations and whatnot, it's important to remember your why and remember the reason why you started, why you want to keep going, um, most especially your love for aviation as well. Getting up in the cockpit and flying was especially solo. It's just you and the aircraft, the beautiful views, the sights to see. And if you just hold that in the back of your mind the whole time throughout your training, you'd be perfectly fine. Captain Coco also draws upon her formative training with another globally respected organization that lets her excel at the airline. And then also, as a former Girl Scout, always prepared. That's our, my motto. It's my life, uh, life motto as well, and just be ready. And again, I love flying so much that it's not a job to me. It's, it brings me joy. and. By bringing joy, I can spread joy with others. Kiana enthusiastically encourages young girls to consider aviation, not just as a vocation, but as a noble and endlessly rewarding lifelong career. I grew up in the United environment with both my parents working for United. So just being surrounded by the community that United has really helped shape me. And whether they've inspired young females to lead a crew from the cockpit or prepare tickets behind the counter, there are a ton of career choices waiting for you. That's the great thing about the aviation industry. I love flying the airplanes, but I have great friends that are flight attendants, customer service agents, and here on Guam, a lot of us speak multiple languages, and that's a huge factor in the aviation industry. The mechanics, I mean, they keep us safe in flying. There's also safety at a higher level where you analyze uh, all of these safety trends. Both outstanding aviators happily share an incredible message that applies to any young females, allowing them to soar as they have in whatever field they choose. The aviation community is definitely very inviting, um, as well as who wouldn't want to fly planes? It's probably honestly the landing because it's, it's where I get to really use my skills, perfecting that landing, much like Simone Biles would nail her gold medal landing. I'm, I'm envisioning that where I can do a perfect landing and I'm hoping the passengers are clapping in the back because they did such a good job. <laughs> Just like Simone, greatest of all time right here. That's what's up. <laughs>